Hey there, guess what? ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization, is up to something amazing after their successful missions to Mars and the Moon. They are launching a new solar mission called Aditya L1 and it's all about studying the Sun, our closest star. This mission aims to learn more about the energy source that keeps life ticking on Earth. You know, the sun is pretty incredible. It's not just a big ball of fire. It's a dynamic and lively star that goes way beyond what we can see. It does all sorts of cool things like eruptive phenomena and releasing massive amounts of energy. But here is the twist. Sometimes these explosive solar happenings can actually mess with our tech and communication systems here on Earth. That's where Aditya element comes in. It's like a watchtower in space keeping an eye on the sun's activities and giving us a heads up when something powerful is heading our way. So, Aditya L1 is going to sit at a special spot in space called the L1 point. This spot is where the gravitational forces of the earth, the sun and the spacecraft all balance out, letting the spacecraft hang out and observe the sun without any interruptions. Imagine having a friend drawing of seat to all the solar action. The spacecraft has some pretty neat tools on board like cameras and particle detectors, these tools will help it study different layers of sun and understand stuff like why the sun's outermost layer, the corona, is so hot and how solar winds get their speed. There are seven science payloads on board in total, each with a unique job. The visible emission line coronagraph studies the solar corona and the dynamic events called coronal mass ejections. The solar ultraviolet imaging telescope takes pictures of the solar photosphere and chromosphere in near ultraviolet light and it also measures changes in the sun's ultraviolet brightness. The Aditya wind particle experiment and plasma analyzer package for Aditya studies the solar winds and energetic ions as well as how their energy is disturbed. The solar low energy X-ray spectrometer and the high energy L1 orbiting X-ray spectrometer studies the sun's X-ray flares across a wide range of X-ray energies. A magnetometer is on board and it can measure the magnetic fields in the space around the L1 point. The journey is pretty cool too. The spacecraft will first go into a low Earth orbit and then its path will be stretched out into an elongated oval orbit to head towards the L1 point. It will take around 4 months to reach its destination. But once it's there, it will be able to stay put and observe the sun without any interruptions. So. To sum it up, Aditya L1 is like a space detective studying the sun's secret. It wants to figure out things like how the sun's outer layer works and causes solar flares and powerful ejections and how all of this affects our space environment near Earth. It's a pretty awesome mission that is going to help us to understand our sun, which as you know, it's an ultimate energy source for life on our planet.